Flavor City family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby on the north side of Chicago on a pretty nice Chicago day. My gosh, this is crazy. We're about to go into the Walmart neighborhood market because I want to see if there's a huge difference between the neighborhood market and a big Walmart super center, more specifically for healthy items because I feel like healthy items are more accessible than ever. So let's get in there, shop around, look for some Bobby approved products. And the cool thing about coming to a neighborhood market or a Walmart in general is it's going to be perfect pretty darn affordable. Before we go into Walmart, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share, all those great things, but enable the bell icon below the video because my friends, we're going live with so many videos every single week, including the live stream on Friday night called hashtag Fridays with Flav. You do not want to miss out. All right, let's go shop and hopefully not get kicked out. All right, let's start this haul at my favorite part of Walmart. It's here in the meat section because they have a legit grass-fed beef game, especially with ground beef. So check this out. They not only have grass-fed, 100% grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef, but they also have the organic kind down here. The thing is, I wouldn't really worry about splurging the organic because it's never added hormones or antibiotics for this one or the non-organic one. So there really is no difference. But here's the deal. Look at the price here. It's $5.48, which is like literally 20 cents more expensive than Aldi, but pay attention to the beef to fat ratio, 80-20. So what does that mean? It means there's 80% ground beef to 20% fat. This is the best percentage of fat you can get at any grocery store for grass-fed beef. Aldi, Costco, all the other players have 85-15. And hey, that's not bad, right? But when it comes to ground beef, Fat is flavor, and Walmart is the only place I can find 80-20. And given the fact that it's 548, 100% grass-fed, grass-finished, that's what you want. And another cool thing about shopping here at Walmart, if you can time it right around the expiration dates, look at this, you can save some serious money. Even though this is 90-10, not what I want. If you want that, you want to save some money, it's fantastic. And if you're not sure, it's grass-fed, grass-finished. I don't know why they don't put it on the front, but see what it says right here? Beef, it's 100 grass fed, 100 grass fed, and grass finish. If it says 100 grass fed, or it says grass fed, grass finish, it's the same thing. It is 100 grass fed. Man, I love this one. 80/20 is where it's at for that price. Unbelievable. They also have grass fed beef uh, burger patties formed already, and they have grass fed steaks. Art and I bought this uh, flat iron steak a couple weeks ago and uh, pan seared it up with butter and garlic, it was fantastic. So man, for a Walmart Neighborhood Express to have that kind of selection is gangbusters. And I know uh, it's a Super Bowl right here. Art's been dying to get that grind of beef. I guess it's just chili grind. If they made it in grass fed, I would try it. But Art, have you ever seen a grind like this before? No, we've never seen that before. So that's pretty cool. And they're getting into the plant-based game. They normally have a uh, Beyond Burger. Now they have Light Life here. So man, not something I would eat necessarily, but to have this variety here is pretty darn cool. You guys, this milk selection for a Walmart neighborhood market is pretty legit. Let's just break down what all these things mean here. So best in class milk anywhere is gonna be this. This is organic, 100% grass fed, whole milk. When you're talking about quality dairy, you guys, you want whole milk. You never wanna get this like this one, fat free, because what lives in the fat omega-3 fatty acid and other essential uh, vitamins. So this is great because grass-fed is the top nutritional profile of any dairy. If you don't want to spend the money, which that's actually a great price at $4.98, then just get organic whole milk like this. You're going to save a dollar. Organic means it doesn't have a feed of GMO grain, but this cow is still eating grain. This one's eating 100% grass. Cows are not supposed to eat grain, okay? Now we come up here. You might be giving yourself or your kid this milk right here. I actually probably wouldn't do that. Even though it's organic, which is nice, the omega-3 DHA vitamin they put here is a synthetic, probably pretty low quality uh, omega-3, and Art can attest from past experience, it has a little bit of fishy flavor. So I wouldn't go for this one. I would get a separate uh, omega-3 fatty acid. Ancient Nutrition makes a fantastic one. And then this is really interesting. I did not see this last time I was here. This is ultra filter milk. So what's really cool is because it's filtered, much like Greek style yogurt, it has half the sugar because it strains out the lactose. Lactose is where sugar lives and way more protein. Very cool. Once again, they don't have grass fed, but they do have organic. Go for the whole milk. And if you compare this filtered milk to this one right here, this is Fair Life. This is not organic. This is 
GMO fed cows. There's been a lot of news about this company treating their cows not so fair. So you want to go organic, grass fed is better. This filtered milk is really cool and wow, this is very, very impressive. And this is disappointing. And it's not just because we're at a Walmart neighborhood market. Even the super centers have, in my opinion, a horrible egg selection. There's not one pasture raised egg here. If you live by a Walmart that has pasture raised eggs like Vital Farms, leave a comment down below because these are all factory farmed eggs. Watch my egg video that I actually filmed here. Free range and cage free mean nothing. You have to get pasture raised eggs. Last time Art and I were at the super center in Skokie, I didn't see any of them. So Walmart, it's time to step up your game because the egg selection can be a lot better. Wow, I was not expecting them to have this high quality of a sweet treat here. This is Hail Mary. I believe they're out of Texas. And wow, look at these ingredients. This is a chocolate almond butter cup. The sweetener is maple syrup, organic. That's a low glycemic paleo sweetener almond butter, almond flour, cocoa powder, and extra virgin coconut oil. So this is pretty much paleo, you guys. For a sweet treat, it's fantastic. They have a bunch of other options here. So I would scoop any of those. And then if you go right next to it, I've talked about this in the past. They fooled me in the past because they have so many good ingredients here, but buried in this massive library of ingredients here is milk powder, which I'm not a big fan. They don't advertise that it's not dairy free and they always use sunflower oil and it's not expeller pressed. Where is it? Right here. See? So that has to be expeller pressed, but it's funny because they combine that with stuff like olive oil. So this one's off the list, unfortunately, but we have other ones we can replace with that. Now look at this wall of yogurt here. We've actually talked about the yogurt and it's kind of a bummer because they have a bunch of grass fed milk over there. They have no grass fed uh, yogurt here. I do get a lot of questions about too good because I talk about never eating yogurt with sugar because it cancels out the probiotic bacteria. And I do love the fact that they're sweetening it with stevia but unfortunately they add natural flavors here. But that being said, it's one of the few options that is sugar-free. I, I would much rather you just pick up the best in class yogurt here. It'd be Stonyfield Organic Greek. I would love it that were full fat. It's not. Greek has more protein, less sugar. You can add any kind of stevia or honey or monk fruit to this. You won't kill the probiotic bacteria. But when you look at this, this, that, that, any of these yogurts sweetened with sugar kills the probiotic bacteria. Heck, which is why you eat the yogurt in the first place. So be very careful and avoid sugar. This is why we always emphasize on this channel to read the ingredients, because you would pick up something as harmless as cold brew coffee that has no sweetener, no flavors, no nothing, and be like, this is good to go, right? But this app absolutely shocks me. There's natural flavors here. Oh, there's actually cane sugar in this one too. But natural flavors in cold brew coffee. Cold brew coffee should be water and coffee grinds. And then if you add sugar, sure. That's crazy. They can't rely on the natural flavor of Joe. I love Joe. You don't need to enhance it anymore. The cool thing is, stash in the corner here is one of the best Bobby approved sweetened flavored coffee drinks. Check this out. This is La Colombe. I used to call it La Colombe, but then you guys corrected me. And the Mocha Draft Latte is one of the only ones on the market Number one, it doesn't have natural flavors. They actually used real flavors here. I don't love that there's phosphates, but to be honest, there's phosphates in every flavored coffee. But look at this, there's only six grams of added sugar in this container. Six grams is a teaspoon and a half of cane sugar. Well, cane sugar is not ideal. That's not bad considering I could take y'all over to the uh, other coffee aisle and there's a Dunkin' Donuts. I wanna show you actually, there's a Dunkin' Donuts frappuccino that has 41 grams of total sugar, which is crazy, right? So this is a baby compared to that. And this is great. I'm super happy they have La Colombe here at the Walmart neighborhood market. So just like the yogurt, I'm really upset at the cheese selection here at Walmart. They don't really have any grass fed cheese. They have really limited organic cheese, but they do have one of the best snacking cheeses around. And for your kids, if they love string cheese as much as I did when I was a kid, Organic string cheese is fantastic because this seal means a lot. A lot of people leave comments like, oh, you can't trust them. You have to trust them. If they break the USDA law about using ingredients that are organic, 
huge, huge problem. Organic dairy, most important part for me is that it's not eating GMO grain. It also, by law, has to be pasture-raised, grass-fed four months of the year, and it has a higher nutritional profile than conventional dairy, but not as high a nutritional profile as uh, grass-fed dairy, right? But Walmart needs to step up their game here in the cheese aisle. They do, thank God, have uh, organic cream cheese. So a lot of people ask me what my favorite brands. Just get one that is organic. You're pretty much always going to have some kind of emulsifier in here, a little bit of locust bean gum, but big deal. That's normal and this is where it's at. For $3.28, check that out. That's a really good price. Not only do we put products back the right way, we leave them better than when we got here. What did we just do there? Yes, you put yours back. Uh -huh. The one behind us upside down. You oh, didn't even touch it. Oh, thank We're you, We're leaving things better than we got here. Yes, you guys. <laughs> keep, keep in mind, between looking out for Waldo's and getting the video done, that's the number one pet peeve pet people have about this channel, is I don't put things back. But what you don't see is that Art always goes back and fixes my mistake. But I'm going to get better. That's my New Year's resolution, you guys. This must be a new addition to Walmart, and maybe that it's winter. They have it now. They have uh, immune system boosters. You've heard me talk about this before. I love this. Well, this is more of a digestion shot, but this is a Malibu company, Vitality from Core, and I love it because it has turmeric, lemon, black pepper is always needed when you have turmeric, and that activates it. I really believe in these. They're expensive though. I would get the ones at Trader Joe's. They're a buck 99. So that's really cool. This is a first though, you guys. Punch in here. This is sugar-free kombucha. It says no sugar. And I'm very confused because look at the ingredients here. Everything is really, really clean here. And they're using, it looks like, stevia. Wow. So here's the deal. I've talked to kombucha masters and I've seen almost every other kombucha on the market. It's my understanding you need a little bit of cane sugar to start the fermentation process. And they've told me you can't use stevia, you can't use honey, you can't use monk fruit. It's got to be cane sugar. So I don't know how they're doing it. I'm going to follow up this company online and hopefully they'll get back to me before this video comes out. But wow, that's really cool. The other best in class one is this uh, health aid because they consistently have the lowest amount of sugar in their kombuchas. But this is is super interesting if that's the real deal I've never seen it at Whole Foods or any other grocery store the fact they have it here hold on left it leave it as we found it is pretty darn cool you guys always see me talk about this brand of sriracha as being my favorite Sky Valley and I consistently tell you I don't use the brand that pretty much made sriracha famous the one with the rooster because if you look at the ingredients here okay we have sodium bisulfate and potassium sorbate. Those are two pretty bad preservatives that you don't need. And if you pick up the Sky Valley here, they eliminate the uh, preservatives. They only have a little bit of citric acid, which is pretty harmless. And you're always gonna see a touch of cane sugar because this is a fermented product. But look at the price. This is $4.98, which is why I always tell y'all, buy it here because it's $7 at uh, Whole Foods. But this is such a great deal that I'd much rather you buy the clean sriracha, this one, than the uh, rooster one, which you really don't want to put in your body. Art just said, hey, Bobby, look, Reese's are sugar-free. They're Bobby approved, right? And I said, Art, there's no chance. I said, the number one ingredient is going to be maltitol, and that'll be the sweetener, right? And sure enough, Maltitol is a sweetener. Maltitol, you guys, is devastating for your gut and your uh, intestines. If you eat too much of it, you're going to poop your pants. And we're talking about palm oil. We're talking about sucralose, artificial flavors, a ton of stuff here. So don't be swayed by sugar-free. That means nothing when you put the other stuff in there. If you actually want a sugar-free keto uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, order online. I'll put a link down below keto cups uh, to evolve chocolate who make it they're unbelievable they have hazelnut coffee and almond and coconut they're amazing there's like one net carbon ingredients are best in class and you won't poop your pants so that's a benefit in art's defense he was doing a thing called sarcasm <laughs> Uh, I have not seen this here before. This is Death Wish coffee. It's the world's strongest coffee because it has the most caffeine. It'd be interesting to try, but they only make it here at Walmart with the uh, K-Cup pods. And we don't like these. We talked about it before. When you have hot steaming boiling liquid going through an aluminum top and plastic bottom, not good for business. Um, this is pretty popular and it's been here for a while. It's the Keto coffee. I wouldn't get the Keto coffee because this actually has some pretty 
non-Bobby approved ingredients, but the creamer is good. You normally think of a powderized creamer, you think of non-dairy, palm oil, sugar, hydrogenated oils. This one's actually pretty darn good. You have coconut oil, MCT, grass-fed butter. I don't love the silicon dioxide, but they're using Himalayan pink salt. So for a powderized creamer, this is fantastic because if I just run over here really quick and grab your traditional coffee mate, this never has any real dairy in here, you guys. This is a scary. It's just look, corn syrup solids, hydrogenated oils, tons of preservatives. So I, even if you're not keto, I would just get this. But we have a whole video about coffee creamers you can check out, but this is the only shelf stable one I've seen that's actually good. We have a whole video about nut butters and peanut butter, and this I think is the only place you can get it. Crazy Richards is the most amazing price for peanut butter. And when you watch that video, you'll see I talk about just one or two ingredients being in peanut butter, nuts and salt, and they only have peanuts. And what I love about buying it here at Walmart, look at the price. It's literally $2.94 for a 16 ounce container. It's an amazing deal. If it were me, I would just come over here and trade up to the organic Walmart brand. It's another 98 cents, but thing, keep in mind, peanuts are legumes. They grow underground and might be susceptible to pesticides or herbicides. I would get the organic. That being said, this price is amazing and I've never seen Crazy Richards anywhere else. And it's a crazy price and I love that. All right, family members, that's a wrap on the Walmart neighborhood market. You know what? There's some really good items in there. Maybe not quite the variety that I have at the Supercenter, but for a small North Chicago uh, store like that, that's pretty good. Plus, Art and I haven't had to deal with Waldos in like a month or so, right, Art? Seems like forever. We're out of practice when it comes to that, but we did pretty good. So you guys, let us know what you want to see coming up. For all you Sam's Club members, we're going to do one very soon, but this channel is all about you. So leave comments down below. And speaking of all about you, We've been growing fantastically lately, so keep spreading the word. Uh, like, subscribe, share, all those good things. Art wants to keep walking, so I'm going to keep walking too. But we got two more videos going below us as we walk to uh, Diversity Street up here. But Art and I will see you very soon. Until then, we say unto you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. We parked back there, didn't we? <laughs> yes. Let's just go back. We're walking the wrong way pretty much.